you can't place structures on top of behemoth gates. Ah! Oh man, the anger is real. The rage is real. What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and welcome back to the center. That's right, you guys. We are back on the center today, and look at that, you guys. Look. Look what's back in the Redwood Forest. There's spawns in the Redwood Forest. Hi there, big guy. You're a level 85 Diplo, and you're gonna die. I appreciate your contribution to our feeding troughs for all of our Carnos. Thank you for dying, and please come again. That's right, you guys. We got spawns back in the Redwood Forest. Thank God we have spawns back in the Redwood Forest. Oh my God. It has been so freaking long since we have spawns. And oh man, am I so excited. So happy that we finally have spawns back. So, last episode, guys, we got the Dino Parking Garage, or what I like to call the Lag Spike. <laughs> we got the Lag Spike all built and ready to go. And I accidentally parked the dragon right on top of the, the little uh, hatch frame. Is it going to knock me down? Please don't knock me down. Aha! Nailed it. Alrighty. So, that's right. We built the dino parking garage. And uh, we're good to go, guys. All of our dinos have been moved into here. They're all being fed. We're producing eggs. All sorts of stuff, guys. It's going very, very well. And it's only on two troughs. Like, we've got berries in this one. And we've got berries in the other one down there. And we've got meat in that one. And meat in the other one down there. So... They're all good to go. They're all being fed, and we're all good to go. So I wanted to show you some of these statistics on the Diplo. Check this out, you guys. We got him up to 522 health and 4,628 oxygen. This guy is a beast. We're going to be able to go down into the water for a long freaking time with this guy. So it's going to be super freaking cool. And we're going to be able to carry our stuff because we weigh 269 pounds, and that's with pounds and pounds of meat on me so we probably weigh even less so that's super cool but in today's episode guys i'm noticing something around the base we do not have defenses up like we could be we could have war declared on we could have war declared on us at any at any point and the only things that we would have to stop people coming in from this side are four behemoth gates and that is not going to cut it guys and so my idea i had for today was one. I'm going to kill this level 20 Tyranidon. You're garbage! Just kidding. <laughs> what level are you? You're a 145, but you're still garbage! Yeah, that's right. So yeah, we need to get defenses up like bad. Like very bad, guys. And so I think that's what we're going to do in today's episode. And so what I want to do is along the back towards the waterfall, we're going to line the back of this with behemoth gates. Now, we were originally not going to do this so that whenever dinos came into our base, we could just kind of lead them off of the cliff and down into the waterfall, and then they couldn't get back up. But I also thought that, that was a double-edged sword, because if we can lead their dinos off, they can lead our dinos off, and we'd be screwed. So it's kind of something that we need to just eliminate the whole thing altogether, and so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put Behemoth Gates all the way along this long line back here, back to the spikes back there. And you know what? We'll probably end up putting behemoth gates in front of the spikes. That way, when they break through the spikes, they have to break through a behemoth gate, too. And, uh, and so I think that's what we're going to do. But also, we're going to do a method of protection that I had on one of my other servers. So, if you'll remember, back, some of you older fans, back on one of my older videos known as the bunker, that's when I built the first bunker. Not that one, but the actual bunker. I built dinosaur gates around a uh, around a bay or actually it was around a peninsula and on top of every single one of those dinosaur gates die <laughs> i put two not one but two plant species x turrets on top of it and so what i mean by that is on top of each gate on each little on the left and the right there were two crop plots with a plant species x turret inside of it and so that's exactly what we're going to do except on this scale we're doing it on behemoth gates. So this time we might even be able to put two or three on top of it. So it's going to be a massive, massive wall of plant species X to keep out the flyers, 
to keep out every single thing trying to get up this mountain, trying to get in from this side. It's going to be awesome, you guys. But it's going to take a lot of freaking grinding. I could, Oh, God. A dire bear spawned in here? What level is this thing? Oh, it's only level 15. I hope you die. You're dead. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's another reason why we need defenses. All of these spawns, they're starting to spawn back in, in our base, which is a very, very bad thing, especially now that dire bears spawn inside of our base. And so uh, that's not good. We've already had terror birds, and we've already had that stuff, but dire bears we cannot have because if they figure out a way to get up to uh, up this ramp, uh, all these dinosaurs can kiss their ass goodbye. So that's definitely something we need to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on the dodic and I'm going to hop on the beaver. And uh, I'm actually going to hop on the... Oh, God, that Parasaur just ate it. Holy crap. I'm also going to hop on the Megaloceros and go out and grab a bunch of freaking materials. I'm thinking maybe five, 7,000 hatch or thatch. Uh, I'm thinking maybe ten to 15,000 stone. Actually, probably more. Uh, maybe 25,000 stone, and then probably about the same amount of wood. So it's going to take a lot of materials, guys. But I am so damn ready to do this and get this base locked down, guys. So I'm going to go get gathering, and I'll bring you guys back in when I've got some progress. All right, you guys. So we are about 30 minutes into the whole grinding process of making all of these gates. And let me tell you something. Listen up, Arc devs. <laughs> Stop making shit so expensive. I hate it. <laughs> Goodness gracious. They made the behemoth gates. This is crazy, guys. This is nuts. They made the behemoth gates. 900 of everything. Let's look at this. 900 stone, 900 wood, and 900 thatch. It used to be 450 of each and 450 of each for both of them. You used to make, you used to have to have 900 of each thing to make a gate and a gate frame. Or a gate and a gate frame, rather. But now, it's so much more. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Holy crap. But, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it just to, just to get this stuff done. But, I have 14 gates done. But I just wanted to, wanted to stop and see how close we are. I, I mean, I'm, I know we're probably not even close to anywhere being done. Um, so... I just wanted to check, though. Um, so I figured I'd come out here and uh, start lining these bad boys up. So don't mind the waterfall noise. I apologize that it's there, but that's what happens when you have pick the best real estate. All right, so let's see. We'll go ahead and plop this bad boy. Let's see, can we fuse that into there right there? There right there. Is that, that's literally what I just said. Okay, go ahead and put that right there. Make sure there's no crack. That's what she said. And bam. Awesome. All right. We got a gate down. Now, is this one going to do well? All right. Let's go. I'm trying to space them out as much as I can without cracks. That way I don't have to make that many more. Because <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. Okay. No, but I'm just giving the arc devs a hard time. They... If they thought it was a smart idea to to uh, make it 900 for a gate, then that's that's their that's their choice. All right, so that's three gates. We're doing pretty good, you know. Oh shit! I forgot we have to go all the way down there. God dang it! Oh god, this is gonna take so many freaking gates. All right, let's go ahead and turn right a little bit, and ha bam! There we go. Oh, he did a little bit of a jump there. Did you see that? <laughs> He's happy. He gets to place gates. He's very happy. All right. So we got 10 gates left. And let's see. Um, we want to make sure that you can't get underneath of that just because God knows that someone will try to sneak underneath of the gate. There we go. That should be fine. And then just like this. So the gates are coming along quite nicely. I have probably 20 more gates to make if I even want to come close covering this whole entire back but I'm not sure so that's why we're doing this but uh, but yeah so um, but while I've got you here I may as well talk to you guys about this Saturday November 5th uh, if you guys uh, remember uh, I stream on every other Saturday and this Saturday uh, upcoming on November 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the next live stream so if you guys want to come out and hang out on live stream I live stream on YouTube uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every other Saturday. And so um, you guys can come out and hang out in the chat. 
uh, and stuff like that and join the server. I plan on an official server. Uh, I think it's official server 106. I could be wrong though. I can't remember my memory. If my memory serves me correct, it is 106. But uh, but yeah, so if you guys want to join up, you guys can join the server. Uh, it's like I said, I think it's if my memory serves me correctly, it's official server NA106. And uh, you can join the stream, we can talk, we can shoot the shit, have a good time, and just kind of hang out together. You know, I normally stream for about one to two hours, depending on how the stream's going, depending on what we're talking about and all that stuff. And we'll just go from there. We'll just take it by ear, guys. So if that sounds like something you'd want to be a part of, it's this Saturday, November 5th, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see some of you guys there. So, looking like we're doing, we're doing pretty good, actually, guys. Holy crap. All right, so we got three more gates to place down. And it's looking like we're pretty much almost done with the gate frames, which is very, very happy. It makes me very, very happy. Let's see. You know what? Let's turn this a little bit. There we go. We'll start We'll start going a little bit more inland, just like that. So it looks like, hell, we might even be able to finish this right here, this side. But I totally forgot over by the, uh, the hatchery that we've got some behemoth gates to place down, too. So let's see. There's one gate right there. And then the last gate, guys. I'm pretty sure this will be the last gate. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, no, we're going to need one more gate over here. So that's okay. But look at this, you guys. Look. We made it all the way to the damn greenhouse. And look at all the behemoth gates. Oh, baby. All the protection in the freaking world, guys. So back to the grindstone I go to make up. Uh, probably, let's see, how many do you think we'll need over here? God, I never realized how much freaking room was in between here and the other side of the base. Goodness gracious, I'm still not even there. I'm still not even there. <laughs> so let's see, we need one. I'm thinking maybe, maybe six more walls. Six more gates. Six more gates should be plenty. Six or seven more gates. So back to the grindstone I go, guys, and we will have a brand new wall all right you guys so the wall is complete with the uh, with the exception of a couple minor holes just because this one's filled up with spikes and then the other one is taken up by a building but other than that you guys we are good to go look at this you guys this is huge oh my god that's so many behemoth gates and i love it oh my god i love it look at how amazing that looks Oh, that looks so damn good, but it's not over yet, guys, because we now need to put all the freaking crop plots on top of the behemoth gates, so it's going to take even more stone. However, it's a lot cheaper than behemoth gates, I can tell you that. I can tell you that until I'm blue in the face, because it's so freaking true, and I'm so happy that it's, it's so much cheaper than behemoth gates. Good lord. But enough with the talking. And I just kind of wanted to show you that, uh, that the wall is done, guys. Oh, man, this is so freaking cool. I'm so glad we finally got this done. And I actually kind of feel safe now, you know? There's just a giant rock sticking through it. That'll work. Oh, that looks so badass, guys. That looks so badass. All right, well, let's get back to work on making some crop plots and planting those plant species X, guys. So, I'll be back. All right, you guys. So, bad news. And as soon as I made these crop plots, I made 50 crop plots just in case. I didn't know how many I was going to need, but I mean, I could have figured it out, but that's okay because it doesn't even matter anymore because you can't place structures on top of behemoth gates. Ah! Oh man, the anger is real. The rage is real. Oh my gosh. But don't worry. Not all is lost. It's okay. We're still going to put up the turrets. It's just going to be in a different different way and I think I know how it's going to be so let's see can I put it oh I can oh they can be sideways <gasps> oh we might need more than 50 guys holy crap okay um you know now that I think about it now that I can't put them on top I wonder if I should put them along the inside because I don't think anyone well, this is coming from a PvP stance. I don't think anyone is going to try and bring dinos along this way because one, land dinos, last time I checked, they don't have wings and they can't fly. And two, flyers can just fly over top of the wall. So there's no way anyone is going to try and break down these walls. It would be a waste of resources and really it's just kind of a, uh, 
a deterrent to keep people from walking our dinosaurs off of the cliff. But now that I'm thinking about it, what if I put the plant species X all along the wall on the inside? That way, whenever they do fly over the top of the wall, then they are just bombarded by secret um, plant species X turrets. Just a whole mess of them. 50 plant species X turrets all along the ground. I think that would probably be way better than putting them on the outside because one, they'd get way more action and two, they could control the spawns inside of here as well if they were set on all targets. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many more crop plots I need to make to put three on each on each behemoth gate. Uh, so like one on the left, one on the right, and then one in the middle of the behemoth gate. And so I'm going to figure out how many we need to put or how many we need uh, and then go from there, guys. So I think that's going to be our new plan. Oh, there's Scout. I thought I lost you. Hi, Scout. Good to see you again. I thought I lost you. Thank God I didn't. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And, you know, eventually we should probably start putting gates inside of these. Oh, big lag spike. And we can put crop plots on top of these. For some reason, you can put crop plots on these, but not on the big-ass ones, of course, because that makes so much sense. Oh, oh, freaking arc, why do you hate me? But anyways, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and count how many uh, crop plots we need. I might have more than enough, or I might not have enough. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and plop them down, put some plant species X seeds in them, and uh, we'll be good to go, guys. So, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys, so I'm just finishing up putting one fertilizer and one seed in each and every one of these crop plots. Now, I lost track of uh, how many crop plots after a lot, <laughs> and uh, we have a lot of crop plots, guys, and this is going to take a butt ton of fertilizer to, to upkeep, but I think we can do it. Now that we've got um, now that we've got the farm going and stuff like that, we can start uh, maybe taking some fertilizer out of that and putting it in here if we if we so need it um, but other than that we're just using bone meal fertilizer and bone meal fertilizer I think is way cheaper than regular fertilizer because you can make it from rotten meat keratin charcoal and hide how you doing big guy are you stuck are you stuck you want to go free okay I'll let you go free go free go ahead go free and you're stupid you are the stupidest pteranodon ever Okay, you get to die. Fine, be that way. All right, so all the way along the base of these gates, we have freaking crop plots that are growing. And a lot of these, most of these are going to be grown. Like, see, okay, this one. All of these ones are going to be grown way before all the other ones because just I started these ones earlier. So another stupid pteranodon. Hello. Welcome to the gate. Oh, and he is stuck. Wonderful. That was a 140. Hot damn. But yeah, so... All of these guys will be grown probably within the next, I don't know, 20 minutes that I'm on. And uh, we're going to have nice protection, guys. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode there, guys. Because we got a lot done today, guys. We got the whole entire defensive wall. We got the whole entire defensive wall up and running. We got it going. We got it operational, guys. And it is so freaking awesome. I'm so glad that we finally got it done. Plus, we got all the plant species X turrets down that we need. And we're going to put more around the base and maybe up top and uh, around the uh, the spikes and stuff like that. So we're not done, but we have one third of the, uh, the base done, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.